for some of the customer feedback part. This creates a bit of confrontation between customer success and product. I want to ask you, how do you help your team tell apart the loud shoe from the actual majority feedback? What, one time, my product team came to me and said, we see all this feedback that gets submitted from the CSMs and from the customers, but there's a lot of noise. So help us prioritize that list of feedback that's coming from customers so that we have actionable insights. So what what, what I did is I created a, a, a survey for each of, of our CST members and left it very simple, intentionally simple to say, what are the things that you understand within your customer base are going to drive the most value for your customers? Not just what are they complaining about, but if we were to work on one area of the product that you think w would make your customers achieve more value, what would that one thing be? And they only got one. And you know, because we had a big enough team, we could take all that feedback together and look for trends within that. And inevitably, one or two things surfaced. And then once we had that, we reached out to the CSMs and said, okay, what are the examples? Which customers are going to get the most value out of these things? Now, it only kind of answers your question because it could have been the loudest person that they just got off the phone with that they felt like, oh, that's the most important thing. But of course, we validated that with the customer feedback that was coming in and the volume of feedback. And this is true of customer advisory boards that I've run in the past, as well as internal and external feedback. If you just ask somebody to say, what do you want? You're going to get a feature. But if you say, what value would you like to drive within your organization that you think we can help with, then you're uncovering much deeper solutions that a feature, you know, it's my idea of how I might want to solve the value problem that I have. But if you can get somebody to focus on the value and, hey, here's a way that you might solve that value problem, you could find that there are 20 different people who are looking for the same value and five different ways that we could get there, but we could handle all of those through a different avenue to solve the value.